What's going on everyone? My name is Edgar and in this video I want to talk about Thread and why I think Thread could change the future for smart home. Let's check it out. You're probably thinking, what is Thread? Well, let me explain. You're familiar with Wi-Fi devices, Bluetooth, maybe even Zigbee and Z-Wave, right? Well, Thread is very similar to them. It is a communication protocol that works without a hub while creating a mesh network in your house. Thread was pretty much built for devices like sensors, light bulbs, switches, smart plug, and even more. And this is because Thread uses less power while creating that mesh network that I mentioned earlier and having a more robust smart home in your house without the need of a hub. Because Thread works without a hub, you can buy different products from different companies and you don't have to worry about they're all going to be able to talk with each other. Here's an example of a burden of having Zigbee devices in your house that need a hub. As you can see behind me, I have some light bulbs and a strip light. Those are from my favorite company, Hue Light. Well, well, for me to be able to run those light bulbs and strip lights, I need this hub right here. Without this hub, I wouldn't be able to control those lights. And on top of that, I love sensors from Akara. They're amazing, they work great. You can have little mini switches like this, very affordable, but it needs a hub like this one. So as you can see, when you start adding multiple hubs, you could have two or three just laying around in your house without knowing where to put them, right? Well, Thread takes care of that. Here's an example of why Thread could be the future. Right here I have four different products from four different companies, like the Eve Energy. This is a smart plug that creates a thread network. This is the new one from Ombis, another smart plug. This is a light bulb from Nanoleaf. And this is a new product from Akara, the only product from Akara that can have that has thread. This one right here. So I can have all of them working together without a hub. Amazing, right? All you need is a HomePod Mini. The moment you have a HomePod Mini in your house or an Apple TV that is compatible with Red, you can start buying products like the one I just showed you and your network would start. Okay, let's start with the requirements for a Thread network. Like I mentioned earlier, a HomePod Mini and an Apple TV are the ones compatible for Apple HomeKit. I'm gonna show you a picture that breaks it down easier for you to know which ecosystem you're gonna pick. Because in this channel we focus on Apple HomeKit, I'm just gonna read the ones that we focus on. The only border routers for Apple right now are the Apple TV third generation 128 gigabytes. We have the Apple TV 4K second generation. We also have the HomePod second generation and the HomePod mini. Those are the only border routers for Thread at the moment for Apple. Now let's talk about the roles. I mentioned Thread border router. You're probably also wondering, what is that Edgar? Well, I'm also gonna explain that. Starting with the Thread border router, like I said earlier, we have the HomePod and the Apple TV. The job for the Thread border router is connecting yourself to your Wi-Fi router so that you can connect it anywhere in the world. I know this might sound super confusing, but I found a picture online that is gonna give you an idea of how a, how a Thread network with the roles from each device will look like. So you can have a, an idea based on what devices you end up getting and more. Here, you can see that the border routers that devise a start your network, like I mentioned earlier. To start the border router, we have the two squares, in this example, I will use a HomePod as a motor router. Then we have the Thread Leader. This would be one of the devices from Thread that is always powered on, like a smart plug, like I mentioned earlier. Eve Energy is one of them. I love it, they're amazing, and they're super reliable. You could also have the Nanoleaf light bulb. They also could work as a Thread router. Just so you understand, only one of the Thread routers would become a leader. We have the thread border router, we have a thread leader, like a smart plug, and then we have the others routers, 
like a light bulb in case this leader something happens where the connection isn't reliable this one could become the leader of all the thread routers now as you start building more of your network the rest of your devices will become a thread of routers just so you know this is all done behind the scenes you don't have to do anything like i said if if the eve plug stop working or something happens to the connection where it's not as reliable as thread would like it to be it would jump to another one as the leader to then communicate to the other routers. One of the key benefits from Thread is that it self heals, like I mentioned. That is something that no others can do that, no other of the protocol. So being able to self heal without you having to touch anything, it's amazing. It is something that is hands off. As long as everything is plugged in, you don't have to worry about it. The last thing that we have in the graph is the end devices. Those would be like sensors, like this one right here from Makara. This one is an end device. You cannot extend your signal from this one. This can only receive from AE Vanity. So like sensors, uh, future uh, switches that are on battery, and even door locks. Those usually run on battery. The, those would be considered end devices. You're probably wondering, how do I know which devices come with threat? Well, whenever you're ready to start building your smart home, if you find products like this from Ombis, they usually have the thread logo in the front of the box or even sometimes even in the back, like this one from Akara. You can see the thread logo right here. As long as they're compatible with Apple HomeKit or they even have the Matter logo, which I'm going to make a video about Matter, but it is a new standard that the moment something has Matter built in, it means it's going to work with your ecosystem. It could be Apple, Google, Amazon, smart things and more. So for example, this thread smart plug that also has matter, that means I don't have to think about it will work with Apple HomeKit because it has matter. And as a connection protocol between all my devices, it runs on thread. So this is a very, easy glimpse of what's going to happen in the future whenever you look for a product that has thread over matter or matter over thread as you can see thread has the potential to change the smart home but the only downside at this moment is the fact that there's so limited amount of products that you can buy we're glad that we have eHome that they're pushing all of their products and they're going from bluetooth or even wi-fi to be able to have thread in their devices and finally Akara is jumping on their product as well, and they just released finally their, their first product as matter over thread for the door and window sensor. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing because I want to make more videos like this just to showing people where things are heading in the smart home world so that you can make the right choice and, and create an awesome smart home for your house. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace.